welcome to AG Wonder Studio. Today we are going to fix up my doll kit here. Um, I got her at a consignment sale a few weeks ago and I made a video about that. I put, I'll put the link in the description box down below. Um, check that out, it's a really good video. And um, I mentioned that I was going to do a fixing up video of Kit here and I um, haven't done it yet, but now I'm doing it. So I'm gonna be tightening her, tightening her limbs, um, like washing her limbs with magic eraser, taking off this tag here, which is tape, um, brushing out her hair, dressing her in a new outfit, and stuff like that. So yeah. So first, um, I gotta take off her outfit. So I'm take off the shoes. These are the shoes here. And then, I'm gonna take off the outfit. So my plan is to wash off her limbs and then I'm gonna take off this tape uh, with this wet wipe here. It's like ASMR, okay. Um, so she was $40, not a bad price. I don't know if you can see. But... So yeah, so it's kind of sticky here, not too sticky, but kind of. So my mom said I should use this to get it off. Oh, well, that just came right off. I didn't know it worked that easily. Like I barely touched it, it just came off. Yeah, I recommend using this if you have any like sticky um, spots from like tape or stickers on your doll. Oh, because it worked for me. Probably, I might, that probably work for y'all. And then I'm gonna wipe her down with this magic eraser. I wet it earlier, so yeah, but I accidentally ripped it. It would just be easier to rip it again like that. This, this magic eraser works great if you are wondering. I recommend it for the American Girl dolls. So, yeah, makes their skin look good as new with their vinyl. Yeah. This is this leg compared to this leg. Wait. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna do this one and I'll be right back. Okay, so here I finished both of her legs. This is how it looks. It's still kind of wet, but it'll dry off. So yeah, next we're doing the arms. I feel like the arms are the second most dirtiest part besides her face. Whoa, look. This is like, looked basically brand new, this magic eraser. I don't know if you could see, but like look how much dirt came off of just her, like a little bit of her arm, her arm and both of her legs. It's like a lot, it's like more than I, like, yeah, more than I expected, kind of. The dye or the marker, whatever it is, isn't really coming off that well, but to me it's fine. I don't really care, but I think it's okay. But I know a few other things that could work. Maybe, yeah. Making sure I do the back of her arm too. Okay, so now I'm gonna move on to her other arm here. Okay, I did her arms. Now let's do her face. So when you do magic eraser or you do anything to clean her face and it's wet, 
um, try to not get it in their eyes because if you do, their eyes get rusty. And that's not a good thing. And also, when you're using magic eraser, make sure you don't go too hard because you might ruin their face paint. Like for example, like their blush and their eyebrows and their like mouth. But yeah. squeeze out some of the water it's kind of wet i'm gonna make more videos coming up um i've just been very busy with traveling and stuff but there's more videos to come i keep saying that but this time it really is and um june 18th is my youtube channel anniversary so it's gonna be my second year on american girl youtube which is also Father's Day, so. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good okay. morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going there. For the she looks pretty good. Just one little Okay, there her face. There's how her face is looking so far. Looking pretty good. Like a scene like this, I probably like search up um things to fix it but right now it's fine um and if y'all if y'all have any suggestions what i should use um i'll see make sure the comments are open down below so y'all could comment and yeah okay so i'm now going to tighten her limbs okay guys so i'm back and i asked my mom to undo the knot because this was very tight. So yeah, if any of y'all are scared of like seeing doll heads or like, yeah, to fix or like fixing doll videos, you might want to skip or something. So yeah, take off your hand in three, two, one. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> so take off. Stuffing man. There's more calling you out, out to explore. Get up and go. See, there is joy found in the race, and I feel it in the place where I'm free. And I simply can't deny it that I feel so. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos how to um, fix stalls. Like touching the limbs and stuff. Okay, there. Okay, so this is how much. Everybody is right. Um, there is a lot. But there, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna tighten her limbs now. So. You need to use four hair ties. So one for each one, basically. And then, yeah. So what you're supposed to do is, see the string? Oh, there's something. Okay, so you're supposed to pull it up and then secure the hair tie as tight as you can. I think it's, I think um, there's a video and I watched and it was um, like somebody did this. Um, there's like an easy way to tighten dull limbs. 
I think her channel is named Jolly's Forever. I don't know if I got it right, but I'll put a shout out to her channel. more loops around just to make sure it's secure. There. That looks pretty good. I could already feel it's a lot tighter. So yeah, I'll definitely be putting a shout out out to her channel um, in the description box down below. Now I'm gonna be doing the other one. Then I'll be doing her legs. Um, I have a question, um, what's y'all's favorite American Girl doll? Um, I'll make sure the comments are open down below. Um, YouTube keeps shutting them down, but I'll make sure they're open this time. Um, so just comment what's, who's your favorite American Girl doll? Um, I like all my, I love all my dolls, so I can't wait to choose my favorite. All my, my favorite, all my favorite dolls is the dolls I have. And soon, I'm gonna make a All My Dolls video. So I'll show you all my dolls in that video. So Kit here is my newest doll, like I said. Okay, so I'm gonna use this hair tie here. Um, I forgot what brand of hair tie this is, but just using this cloth hair tie. I don't recommend using those like plastic or rubber bands hair ties because they might snap. That might be bad, maybe, but yeah. So I'm going to repeat what I just did for the arms here. So I just finished tightening the limbs, so I could already tell they're a lot tighter, like I mean a lot. Yeah, so I'm gonna, um, rest um, I'm gonna restuff her with, um, all this stuffing and I'm like halfway done so next after we um, finish this part I'm going to be brushing her hair out and doing her hair then I'll put her in a outfit I picked out I think it's going to be very cute and fun Wait one second. I'm going to use this to help. You push it all down. You kind of just want you kind of just want to push it all down. Because this is everything I have left. And then um fun fact, um Kit's real name is supposed to be Margaret Mildred. Kittredge. So her name's supposed to be Margaret. 
but um, her name is Kit because because her dad called was um, her nickname was Kit, so it kind of just stuck. If any of y'all watched the Kit America Girl Girl Kit movie. I recommend watching it, it's very good. It's probably one of um, the best Merrick Girl movies I ever watched. Also Molly and Samantha was also really good. And yeah, that's like my three favorite American Girl movies. They also have a whole bunch too, like The Sage and Grace. And they have like Krissa and Isabel. Not the 90s Isabel, like the or old girl, the girl of the year Isabel. She should also be a, a ballet dancer. One of my friends has Isabel. And then I have the 90s Isabel. So we kind of get their names mixed up sometimes. So like I said, I'm going to do a All My Dolls video. I'm also going to do a All My Doll Pets video because I have a lot of doll pets because I just think the doll pets are so adorable. I think I might do a video like dressing all my dolls for summer, like a summer lookbook or something like that. The hardest part of this is probably um, untying her head because um, the knot was really good. I'm going to make a really good knot for it too. Also my doll Sage, her limbs are kind of loose, so I might do tighten hers. Since this is very easy, I might as well. In an American Girl Hospital, you got to pay like... $50 or something like that to get, I can't remember the exact price, but I think it's near $50 to get um, your doll's limbs tightened, I think. Or like it's $80 to get a full treatment or something. That's kind of pricey. Like you could almost buy a new brand new doll with that. But I'd rather fix the doll by myself because I would be scared if I like, if my doll gets lost in the mail or something. Um... Or like um, American Girl, like for the Pleasant Company dolls or like the early American Girl dolls, um, they changed all of the pieces to the newer, to all the doll pieces to like the newer things. So if you have a Pleasant Company doll, she might come back different. She might look different. So yeah, I didn't know that until I watched a few YouTube videos. I'm like, oh, because like, um, so most people just want to keep their early American girls, um, like, original. So, yeah. So far, her limbs are pretty good. Done. Oh, I made this to go. Hello, world, wake me up to another good, good morning. Time to go. Got that smile. And then Kit's basically going to be good as now. And her hair is a wreck right now. Um, Kit's hair is very easy to take care of. Um, Kit is like a really good beginner doll, and also she, like her hair is like really easy to take care of. You just need like a few brushes usually. Just need to like brush her hair out a little bit every so often, and then yeah, her hair isn't that bad to some other dolls' hair I've seen. Yeah, I feel like most Kit's hair isn't that bad. But right now, this is how it looks. It's not that bad at all. So right there is the dollhouse in the background. 
um, it's not supposed to be doll's house. It's like, you know, those, like garage, like things that pulled all your bins and stuff. It's one of those, but we used it as a doll house and we got it at Home Depot and we used some like, we found some like little wooden wall things. My dad cut them the right size in his little wood shop thing. And um, it looks pretty good. It's really cool. And yeah, I love it. And we have some like lights to put, hang up in there for like stop motions and stuff. Hi, so I'm back. And I accidentally, um, I got too excited and I was securing her head and I pulled all this and <laughs> so just, the string fell out. So with the help of my mom, we redid it. But if y'all have any trouble, I recommend getting a mini safety pin here and just feeding it through. It takes a lot of time, but just feeding it through back if you like lose, eventually lose it. It helps a lot. I recommend it and so yeah we're back here <laughs> um so yeah her limbs are already tightened i could like i felt it earlier and like i did a good job because like the hospital um expensive plus the shipping i think it's plus the shipping i'm not sure but yeah it's probably shipping um yeah There's so much stuffing though, so it's like, gotta shove her head in like hard because it's like, some people say they just take like a tiny bit up and just shove it in, but I think I'm gonna try my best to keep it all in. Move her head because her hair is in the way like a lot, so. Yeah, make sure I don't lose the string again, so I'll come back. <laughs> Hello, and I'm back with Kit, and her head's back on really tight, as you can see. Help, um, with Thanks for my dad, he helped me, and my mom, put her head back on tight. So yeah, she's like brand, brand new, like brand new doll for only $40. $40. So I'm gonna brush her hair out and then put her in a cute outfit I picked out. This is, this is her limbs, like, they don't go down, like, they stay up, like. And then you go, like, to her arms. Like, you go like that and they don't fall, like. But they don't fall, so that's, like, great. That's really good. Um, I showed my brother, and he was like amazed that I did this because he's. I didn't think he could. I he. I I didn't think he knew I could do it this well, and he didn't know I was doing this while he was like playing with the Legos and stuff. But yeah, I brush her hair, put her in a cute hairstyle, like a little poof. I call it the poof <laughs> up here, like that. But I think it's her meat hair style or something. My mom says when I say meat, like M-E-E-T, she thinks I say meat, like the meat you eat. <laughs> but yeah. So make sure you close your eye, close, like put your hand or towel over your doll's eyes when you're misting their hair with water. Just make sure you don't get any water or just make sure you don't get any water in their eyes because that can make them rusty and you do not want that. This is just water. Sometimes I put a little bit of conditioner. Like, it can't be that much, that strong or that strong a fragrance conditioner. But, you just make sure you don't get anything in their eyes. And then her hair is kind of dry right now. But make sure you go to the bottom to the top. If not, there are knots could just be tingly everywhere. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. But. And if your doll has any dead ends, you simply just like do this. This one doesn't really have 
hardly any dead ends, but you go like, you don't really cut their hair at all. Like, you don't even go like that. You just like, go like that and cut through. It's like that. And then, I'm just gonna brush it. Her hair already looks good. I'm just brushing this side a little bit. Like, look at this, like it looks great. My brother said she looks good as now. So, but she's gonna look even better. Let me brush her hair like, look, this side, this tingly side, to this beautiful side. <laughs> So the American Girl hair brushes, this is the Our Generation brand, the brand from Target hairbrush. I had this for ever since like July, like last year. Um, like I was having a sleepover and then I needed another hairbrush. So I picked this one up at Target. And the American Girl, like this inside pops out over time. Well, I don't know what happened to you guys, but it happened to a lot of my doll hair brushes. I don't even use them that harshly. Um, they just like usually just fall off randomly. But this, I had it for like almost, like a pretty sure like almost a year now. Like more than half a year for sure, but like I think half, like a year now or something. And this still is still, still survived. Because I went through like three, three American Girl hair brushes in a year. But this was like, I think I was a little bit cheaper. Hello world, wake me up to so I'm gonna spray more water on the side because the water kinda dried off. You hear that, like the nuts. Oh, well, it looks shiny on camera right now. Oh, it looks so good. Because some dolls I saw at the consignment sale and their hair was kind of messed up a kit, I knew her hair would be easy to fix. Like some people, um, if the dolls, if some people thrift dolls, which is kind of, their hair is really messy. Sometimes they re-wig them or something, but her hair looks great, like, looks fantastic. So this is how her hair looks. Like, look how shiny it is. Like, that's so shiny and beautiful. Like, looks so good. And her, her hair is kind of like, if you have a kid and you're wondering why her hair is like, kind of like on, like over her eye a little bit usually. That's basically, um, her hair is like that. So like you give, get like little cute braids here. Um, it was like kind of longer because her meat hairstyle is supposed to be like clipped like this here with like a little hair clip or something. Yeah, I'm, this time I'm just using a cute hair tie, which matches the outfit exactly and what they put on her. And it's one of the newer outfits I just got at the consignment sale where I got Kit. So I'm about to put that on and be so adorable. So. It was, it was like a Batu braid, but I just want to do a poof. I call it the poof. <laughs> okay, so I am almost done with the last little thing with the There. And then just brush it down a little bit because it's it's like sticking up. <laughs> Like, like that. <laughs> this is how her hair looks. Wait, looks good as new. So cute. And now, the outfit I'm gonna put on her is this beautiful outfit. I just got it and it's so adorable. I love it. It's a little lemons. I think it's like a f called the Fresh Lemon Market outfit. I forgot. I have a box in there. Yeah. I don't know. But it's super cute. It has deep pockets too. I recommend this dress. They retired it though, sadly. I think they should have this dress forever. It's so cute. 
And actually I'm gonna get some doll underwear, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this quick little thing, so if you don't have that many much doll underwear but you have some doll bathing suit bottoms, I recommend using them because for all my dolls I have like fourteen dolls or something and most of them is like second hand dolls. So they don't some of them don't come with underwear. Most of mine did, but so I just used the swimsuit bottoms. And I'm about to sew a bunch. I'm about to get my sewing machine out and sew some stuff. I'm a good beginner sewer, but um, I like watching videos and stuff. I also want to learn how to like crochet. But yeah, because I think that's really cool. You could sew, like, crochet so many things. I mean, I crocheted myself a little headband. I found like a tutorial off of Pinterest. Pinterest has so many ideas for that kind of stuff. Her outfit is so adorable. Show you all in a second. Oh, let's see that. Wait, there's just like little marks. And her arm, I didn't see. Okay, so. Just in case. <laughs> okay, there. So, I'm gonna. There. Sandals. These are our generation, so I don't do these because they don't fit on American Girl's feet. Because I think American Girl's feet is a little bit chubbier or something. Our generation, like their ankles are really narrow, I guess you'd say. There. Okay, so let me just show you. Um, so first, the, her adorable yellow sandals and then here's her adorable lemon dress and her hairstyle thing so yeah she looks good as new so yeah that was really fun so I hope you guys love this video um Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.